that you can of your own do nothing because of your own you have nothing it is of the beauty to which you have given that you can be able to express so in diverse spheres of your abilities your potentials your gift and your talent well, the reason why God will have to give you that job is because he's looking for an intercessor in that office. The reason why God will have to give you that thing is because he wants himself to be known in that place. But eventually there is someone that is about to commit suicide in the next two years. So God will strategically put you in the house of assembly so that in the day when the devil is entering into that, into that place, he can find you. The devil will forever rule in any place where there is no light. How does then God as light in diverse regions? A system that you refer to as a job application but eventually you submitted a resume to a place the reason why they may be giving you that job may be because they feel they need you but you only you know that you are entering into that place because god knew that there is light so much in you that is taking you into the darkness believers of today they enter into the darkness and they became the darkness what happened to the light that upon which they carry we can be here in the family house professing we are the light of the world suddenly we enter into darkness we become the darkness of the world what happened to us is an adumbration that we certain level of infiltration that happened that is why a believer must be able to continually purge and purify himself carry sufficient light enough so that by the time you step into that ecology by the time you step into that environment by the time you step into that ecosystem by default you begin to shine everything there begin to depend upon you it is possible that you can enter into an organization from that very day your organ will begin to respect you why is your organ respecting you in the realm of the spirit you may have the profile of every worker in that organization but there is something about you that every time at night when he meets you in the spirit you are different it's possible that the very first day you shake hands with the man he begin to notice something different about you have you met people that tell you there is something different about you what are they trying to explain they are trying to explain the light to which you carry there is a hope of a glory that you have as a light and the bible says, arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you so by the time you leave family house and you step into the society you must go with the consciousness that anybody you meet when you touch you say there is something about you yes there is something i carry from the family house there is something i carry from power night you cannot be ignorant you cannot be without nothing you cannot be powerless there must be something that you must carry because the world out there is looking for those that they will use as a testament of kingdom of darkness so you must be able to enter as a witness unto light no wonder jesus christ speaking said i have come that i may bear witness to him that sent me so you must be able to understand that whether you like it or not you are receiving power so that you can go and become a witness you may refer to it as a job but i see it as a marketplace to which god can be represented and if paraventure an opportunity is given to you to represent jesus you deny him shame on you you are not part of us you must be able to understand your job is not permitted to remain your job until you know how to include your work into it your work is the assignment that god gives you i don't care about your talent i don't care about your skill you are obeying the federal government of nigeria you are obeying the school to which you attend you are obeying the accreditation of the potency of that certificate but do you understand the matching order of the spirit do you understand the ordination upon your head nobody says you should not work in the bank nobody says you should not work in house of assembly nobody says you should not work in an oil company nothing should come against that thing that you are doing but you must also understand your assignment even jesus said give to caesar what belongs to caesar give to god what belongs to god our problem is that we give to caesar what belongs to caesar we deprive god what belongs to god do you know what belongs to god you know what belongs to caesar do you know what belongs to god many of you have a ppa i understand it belongs to caesar this is what belongs to god but when you leave this place now and you go into the world there a job is waiting for you that is a strategic positioning for caesar do you know what belongs to God? What belongs to God is understanding your place of altar in that job. You may not know, but eventually, God has checked in the spirit that Abuja needs a prince. Abuja needs a watcher. Abuja needs a gatekeeper. And that is the reason why you are given that job. God may try you for two years. After two years, if you are not faithful in intercession, you are fired. The reason why they fire you is not because they want to fire you. It's because in the realm of the spirit, you were sent to be able to occupy a vacuum. To occupy a vacuum in the spirit. See, let me tell you. You may not be able to pray in office or pray at home in understanding, mentioning your office. Knowing fully well that your office is a marketplace where God can be represented. But eventually, even your old guy is a Christian. He's just trying to hide because this is an office. So most of you, both of you must have to meet in the realm of the spirit. How do you do that? 
do you know that it's possible for you to be in the office and just because you are there and because of your constant intercession contract is given by default in fact i have said and i will still say time has come that men should be given job based on qualification of spiritual intelligence yes it is possible for you to go to an office and say i need you to give me a job why i have checked in the spirit you guys don't have intercessor and i want to come and work as your intercessor say what is that try me for two months employ me i will be interceding my job is to be praying that all contracts should pass everything you are doing should work because at the failure of anything a spirit involvement and as a result of that if there is somebody that can interface the realm of the spirit and stop spirit from manipulating things whosoever that understands spiritual engagement and their rules of operation which is the one that we take why do people go to collect charm do you need a charm if you have an intercessor no why do you have to go and consult the witch of Edom? is there need are they are not prophet in israel so you can be able to come to a point where you sit upon the citadel in that office and become like the seer so you can come and tell oh god let's submit this application here let's ask for this contract here this is what we should do there should be somebody that should have the seeing eye and the hearing ears somebody that can become like the isaka in that place to be able to know what the organization ought to do so god is sending you into that organization as the light of the organization the same way that many of you knew that the day you step into a department that was the day the people begin to pray in that department all of us went to school many of you knew that in your school there are some that you came and find people praying in the school but there are some of you that in your school you are the one that started the prayer in the school there are some of you that in your faculty in your department you are the ones that started it but eventually you went there everybody has backslide as you step into that place people begin to pray why you are the light of that place but eventually there are people there that have been shouting they are the light what is the reality of the light it shine if in the department nobody is praying and you step in people begin to pray you have become the light in that place if in the department is bedeviled by darkness all kinds of carnality somebody step in and say can we should not continue like this can we do like this in a department in an organization somebody say no according to the standard of god it's like this if you can only be able to find men and women in every parastata that can be able to say this is god's standard would have been become better but how many of us let's be frank if they send you and put there will you not betray us one of the greatest problem of nigeria sir may not be islam it may be christians because many more times christians compromise the more so an average christian you can put him in an organization he will be the reason why the organization is crumbling and he doesn't care i don't think you have the power and the potency not to steal you like this so before you speak about you are the light of the world you must receive power so that you can become a witness that's why the bible says ye shall receive power to be what witness there is a power required for a man to resist darkness because darkness in itself comes with an energy of power so if there is no sufficient power contacted in light by you see you can enter into that place and not know when you change there is an ordination upon those seats when you sit into that office suddenly things begin to change so you wonder why suddenly you become an adumbration you look upon yourself and wonder how are the mighty falling 